Hey, run away. I can smell Mr. Antibiotic. I'm not scared of antibiotic. I'm a super bug. Is there anything wrong with our antibiotics? Did they stop working? Instead, the bacteria have become clever. The superbugs have developed clever strategies to fight with antibiotics. The outcome is antimicrobial resistance or AMR. Now, the medicines become ineffective. Infections persist in the body, increasing the risk of spread to others. AMR is perhaps the biggest problem that this generation will face in the next decade or two and hence coming up with mechanisms to sensitize bacteria to existing antibiotics is extremely important. Hey, what's that? It's hydrogen sulfide. It's my life saver. Hydrogen sulfide, which is long known as a toxic pollutant gas, was shown a few years back to help the bacterium to counter the stress induced by antibiotics. So therefore, our lab asked the question, what is the connection between hydrogen sulfide and drug resistance? To understand the link between hydrogen sulfide and AMR, the researchers at ICER Pune designed a novel H2S donor. This compound acts like a carrier that permeates the bacterial cell wall. The license to deliver H2S is given by an enzyme called E. coli nitroreductase or NTR which is exclusively present inside bacteria. Due to the gaseous nature of H2S, its control and site specific delivery within cells is challenging. We have shown that this small molecule selectively enhances H2S within bacteria. When the antibiotics attack the bacterium, the oxidative stress is generated and the redox balance of a cell is lost. So this leads to the production of reactive oxygen species which subsequently leads to cell death. A team of researchers led by Dr. Amit Singh at IISC Bangalore observed that exposure to H2S brought the redox balance back. We found that new molecule hydrogen sulfide gas which is produced by um, bacteria seems to contribute to drug resistance. If we can target the machinery which helps the bacteria to produce hydrogen sulfide gas, indeed that would be like a big success for us. The researchers experimented on multi-drug resistant bacteria obtained from the patients suffering from urinary tract infections. These bacteria were found to have a significantly high levels of H2S. For the first time you were able to show that there is a purpose for which gas is produced by bacteria. They use it for their own benefit to tolerate antibiotics and to spread antibiotic resistance. So this is one of the finest discovery of uh, this whole process. This study has laid a strong pharmacological groundwork for designing strategies that would eventually lead to improved clinical outcomes to combat antimicrobial resistance and take good care of those superbugs. <laughs>